come on, come on, come on. <sighs> hey there, Fearful Christian. Go Niners! Get out of here. Come on. <sighs> Watch a little football. I'm going to take a time out, though, so I can talk to you a little bit about our scripture memorization and about our Monday morning devotion. All right. This is our last week in Psalm 119. The last two verses we're going to study for this week on God is good. So let's get right into what the Bible says. In verse 71 and 72, this is what it says. My suffering was good for me, for it taught me to pay attention to your decrees. Your instructions are more valuable to me than millions in gold and silver. Now the first part of that, my suffering was good for me. What part of suffering is good? I never find suffering good. But if we know that God is good, and God allows that to happen to me, then in some way, that has to be good. Many times God wants to teach us a lesson. Sometimes some of those lessons can't be taught unless we have some suffering. You know, I was talking to a student last week who didn't do so well on a test. The student was really upset. And you know, every time we fail, it's an opportunity to learn. Really, that's the best time to learn, is when we fail, because we can see what we did wrong. And the most learning most often takes place in our failures. But we have to look at our failures and see where we screwed up and how we screwed up so that we can do things better moving forward. And there's so many more opportunities to learn when we fail than when we succeed. So sometimes God does allow us to suffer. Sometimes he does allow us to fail so that we'll learn more. And that ultimately is good. And we'll be talking more and more about suffering throughout the week, I'm sure, with your teachers and probably on Friday as well. But in that second verse there, it talks about your instructions are more valuable to me than millions in gold and silver. I know I don't often treat God's instructions like they're more valuable to me than gold and silver. I tend to think of my possessions and my money and material things as more important more often than not. And I know this is something you hear all the time, but we need to focus more on God and His decrees. You know, our Bibles, God's Word should be more valuable to us than anything. So we should be pouring into that. It's one reason we do scripture memorization, so we can learn it, but not just to memorize it, so we can really understand what it says. Because when we understand what the word says, we understand God a little bit better. And ultimately, that's what we should want. We should want to understand God a little bit better, make our relationship with him just a little bit stronger. All right, so study those scriptures throughout the week. Talk about them with your teachers. Talk about them with your classmates. And we'll be talking about them in chapel on Friday. And I hope you guys really take this stuff to heart. All right, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. God bless.